All right, I'm ready to go. I don't know if I'm muted or not, but am I back? Blink once, show Mexico if yes. Show me Mexico if we're on. Are we not on? Are we testing? Show me Poland if we're testing. That's a compliment to The Witcher 3. Since they clearly test their software. I love that game so much. Can we get a, just a hurrah for The Witcher 3's existence? And 2, and of course 1. Everything that led up to this. There, there. Okay, we got Mexico. We're back up. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for flying that beautiful flag. Look at that thing. I want to go to Mexico again. I was there in Mexico City before. I'm afraid to go now because I'm freaking American and everybody hates us right now. Rightfully so. But, like, I don't want to be like, oh, you're an American in Mexico. I'm going to, like, freaking chewing tobacco in your taco. Oh, see, even that was racist. But at least I can immediately recognize it instead of, like, nah, I just speak my mind. I speak my mind and I'm like... Well, sure, that was the wrong thing to say. And then whoever I accidentally offended, ac literally accidentally, is like, no, it's fine, whatever, that's, that's okay, that's kind of funny. You only get away with it once. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, 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 I'm sorry. But it is not the least bit appropriative or disrespectful i i'm making that pledge first of all to make some mexican sounding music if from for me because that's my family in one way or another throughout my life i have mexican family and even though i am ethnically jewish i also know from all kinds of familiar familial structure and loyalty Appreciation of parties, festivity, cuisine, all the fine things in life. I can't say wine because Jewish wine can be good in kind of gourmet settings. You know, special Jewish wine is okay, but the Manischewitz stuff, it's like the closest thing we usually get to like actual candy in a conservative Jewish family. You could have you could have a sip of grape juice at Shabbos and, you know, or, you know, some Manischewitz when you get older, just a little tipola. And then the next thing you know, it's like, you're like, what is wine? Oh, well, oh God, why is it so not? Oh, well, I thought wine was like Manischewitz. It's like sugar water wine. It's like, uh, it's like hobo wine. Blessed with the sanctity of. All right. <laughs> Life is a confusing place. For grown-ups, if there's kids watching me talk about alcohol on the stream, understand that it's really kind of overrated, in my personal opinion. Certain things are nice when you get old enough to drink a beer or something and chill, you know, on the beach. Yeah, whatever. You see your parents doing that occasionally, whatever. That's cool. But eventually, eh, it's overrated because you lose your faculties. Well, by that, I mean, I don't mean your school. I don't mean, like, literally they va your faculty vanishes and, like, where's all the teachers at? I, what I mean is you lose control of your abilities, your superpowers. Unless you're Wolverine and you metabolize it instantly, which doesn't actually occur, despite some college students' claims to the contrary. I was that guy. It's like, whatever. I didn't drink and drive, though, and neither should you. While we're at it, don't even scoot and don't even drink and scoot. Don't even drink and bike. Don't drink and walk. Don't drink and do anything unless you're an adult and you're in a Safe place where you can just be with people for a while and have a good time as grown-ups. Otherwise, cut loose. I have not un chosen to. I will never do so. Pledge. I will always be 100% alcohol sober on any of my streams. Unless it's champagne after uh, a show. And I'm just like, oh, go, go. I'll do that off camera. And come back on after like one slight drink. I honestly hate the effects of, I'm one of those people who's like, instead of don't drink kids, I'm going to be that kid who's like, drinking kind of sucks. It's kind of cool once when you're in, you know, the right year of college where you can actually do it and just go out and buy a six pack and celebrate. But like, ah, it makes you into a, a simpleton. No, 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 that's insensitive to people who are mentally disabled because 
they don't act they don't act as foolish as as drunk people do Ugh. it's just unsexy uncool war on war vert's war on drinking i don't mind it but being the only sober person in a room when a bunch of other people are drinking is like oh come on yes yes i get it you went in a hot air balloon yeah you wanted to skydive but you didn't because mallory said this thing and all right cool can we just go play nintendo like i'm that guy i feel like i'm einstein compared to everyone else in the room that's why i say that is like I don't feel like that normally, but I'm so frustrated by being like everyone else in the room is like, they're all just like, whoa, man, Pink Zeppelin is my favorite band. I like their blues music from the 90s, 80s. <laughs> 90s, 80s. <laughs> I'm like, no, are you, do you mean blues traveler? Do you mean... Led Zepp so I get very flustered and frustrated when I have to deal with people who make even less sense than normal. I, I start to feel like, but that's great when you're at a business con, uh, a business conference when you're a grown up, and everyone else is drinking to excess around you because they're partying after a night, and you can talk to them and get their business cards because you're the sober one, you're the designated driver, and you're just like, oh yeah, tell me more about the problems you're having with your current music department. Oh, oh, cool. Is there a card I could get? Yeah, yeah. Could you put me in touch with a music person? I could, yeah. And it's like the CEO of EA or something like that. I'm not saying specific. I haven't done that with the CEO of, C, of EA, but I'm saying hypothetically in that, that stature of person would be drinking at the W, which is a hotel near the convention center. Um, All the bigwigs hang out and tip for any game composers. Go to the W sober. Don't let on that you're sober. Don't tell them. Drink ginger ale and, you know, sip it like it's a cocktail. And say, oh, what are you having? It's like, oh, it's a virgin daiquiri. <laughs> you know? It's like you don't have to admit that you're playing with an extra hand of cards. <laughs> you're playing two at once while everybody else is like, poker. I like poker. <laughs> Look at these are my cards. Whoops! And you're just like, oh, I see, I see. Well, you're out for this turn. Um, anyone else want to ante? Are you sure? And everyone, that's the, the equivalent of being the only designated driver in a room full of partiers. So that's, I would say that's like an off-road adventure mentally that pretty much every professional should do at least once. Just be that guy or gal who's just like, oh, tell me more about your infrastructure. Oh, do you have suppliers for that? Oh, that sounds complicated. And they're just like, uh, they're the guy out there, beep, hold the, you know, they're just like unloading their, their stress because they're completely intoxicated and they're incapable of functioning mentally. That's what happens. They're like, this is your brain on drugs, crack, eggs, whatever, 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 whatever. Honestly, the, the, well, I can't do it. I've run afoul of Kaufman's law. You can't speak about intelligence without committing a typo, and that includes space outs where you stop functioning and you lose your train of thought. That's Kaufman's law number two. I forget what number one is, but number two is you can't speak about intelligence. But disparagingly, especially, you're going to mess up, but you're going to mess up if you try to do that. You're going to either lose your train of thought or do a typo or do something like that. As soon as you're like, the thing about intelligence and brains is that some people don't, and you spell don't without a, an apostrophe and and you just and you hit tweet and it's like everyone's like oh yeah i mean that's kind of funny but i mean do you have a spell checker you know you can't even do that these you had to be very meticulous about this kind of stuff so it, my my axiom is if you try to speak about intelligence in some kind of haughty terms in some sort of authoritative voice about here's how it is folks let me lay it down for you some truth um, then you're, you're going to screw up probably in a funny way that you're like, damn it. I wonder how many people will notice this, but usually the ones that matter are the ones that notice unless they're stricken, unfortunately with dyslexia or something. And then in which case they laugh and they're usually that's, I, I have a lot of dyslexic friends who don't care as much when I mess up truth. 
I don't have any I don't have any friends who have um total hearing loss yet. So if any of them are reading a transcript of this at some point and you wanna Yo Oh cleaning crew is here. Amazing, amazing. Hey Hi, how are you? Mwah, I'm on camera right now. You're not on camera, don't worry. You're safe. You're safe off the camera, don't worry about it. But uh, I'm I'm on li I'm live on camera right now and I'm broadcasting about well sort of I'm supposed to be making music right now but instead we're talking about um pretty much everything. Like I'm just having a chat with my See all these people in here? That's all our audience right now. And they're they're kind of talking to us about all kinds of stuff. So we'll be making music soon, but yeah, it's good to see you. I keep everything has been um sort of progressing. We're back we're back online with streams. So we want to talk about video game parties and trucks and whatnot soon. Oh, it's gonna be Yeah. Oh, you're coming to my place tomorrow? Mmm, good. We had a fly infestation due to some unfortunate garbage bin incidents. Gross. And I've been swatting them out of the air, so you might find some caked onto things and in place. I'm sorry to be gross on the stream, but this is a person who's going to help me clean my couch, uh, my my house, uh, the new the, the new farmhouse in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the mountains. It's so crazy. Ah, it's gonna be a fun time though. You get to meet Nugget. Have you met Nugget? The pug, the puggle. Ah, oh, I hope he doesn't yell too much at you. He's a very, very, very loving dog. He doesn't bite. He doesn't, you know. He, hey, how are ya? Um, but he, uh, he whine. He yells a lot. He cries when I'm not there. Is what it is. He has separation anxiety. So he, he's a, a bunch, and he just wants your attention all the time, and to get up in your feet and get caught up in everything. He's very attached. Cause I treat I treat him too too loving here. More white people problems basically like <laughs> terrible. Uh but Yeah, to no no, it's totally fine. Because I'll stay here I'll stay here all day and then I'll have company over at night. So it'll be perfect. It'll be very I will leave a key. In fact, wait, no, I have one for just this purpose that I put here. Oh da -da 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 -da. All right. The Hello Kitty is the main house door, and then the red one, look, check out our keys that we had made. Ah, uh, we had a Hello Kitty, a Hello Kitty, ah, ha, ha, ha. and then the red one, this red, uh, unlocks the outside uh, fence gate, you know, the screen door. We never use that, though. Like, it's, like, whatever. It's, like, uh, it is, it's not, that's, that's not going to be locked, most likely. Um, but this one is the main house door. I should open every lock on the house and No no just hang on to it. Keep it. It's yours. We made it for you. Hello Kitty. You like Hello Kitty? Oh nice. I love Hello Kitty. Mm hmm Oh Betty Boop. Ah boop boop boop. boop. <laughs> oh yeah, I love old animation like that, old cartoons. We're working on a cartoon right now. It's on if you have Cartoon Network on cable, uh our show is on that now. It just aired last night the first time. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, pretty much for the next couple of weeks. They're, every night they're playing the uh, episodes throughout the day. They're doing a shotgun just all over the place on Cartoon Network. So if you've got any kids in the family. Oh, they would love OKKO. OK it's so wonderful. It's like uh, a, a, a Japanese cartoon like Dragon Ball or something. You know, with the kid in it, the young version. Mixed with the peanuts with Charlie Brown. So there's that emotional sappy kind of thing, you know. The character's a hero. He tries his hardest all the time. You know, it's inspiring for a kid anywhere from like four or five, anywhere up to like teenagers, you know. There's teenage characters that are just like, well, I'm checked out. I'm done. Yeah, it's more. Well, we do all the music here. We've done uh, many dozens of episodes already, composed the music and produced it. And, uh, and it's going to be on the air all on the, all the next week. So everything we make at Mint Potion, like this whole studio, comes to life for this cartoon. And it's, it's wonderful. It, it, we're just the music department. You know, the animation is so lovely. Ah, oh, it's so good. I only see the rough draft version of it, and then they do the post-production, and then it's... Woo-wee! 
and then the sound effects go in. I can hear the character talking, whoa, 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 doo, 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 but I don't hear all the, so it sounds a little empty when I make the music for it. And then I hear the whole thing done. Oh, it's so good. It's finished. It sounds like any cartoon from the 90s or any 2000s. You know, it's a modern cartoon network sound, that good sound. Are we out of time? Do we need to? Oh, we need to go to. Okay, well, let me sing Preston's birthday song. No, don't come in. I just want to sing it on the stream because it's just a joke. I don't have any. I got to transpose it down. Um. I don't know how to play this because I've never tried. Oh, yeah, there we go. Press it. Oh, wait, wait. Did I go back on my mic? Yeah, I've been on ranting this entire time. <laughs> Press it. It's your birthday. Uh, FSM made you this day. He gave me a brother from another mother. And he made you kind of gay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Preston, it's your birthday. You know the, f the thing from The Simpsons where Michael Jackson, and <laughs> Michael Jackson and Bart sing the Happy Birthday Lisa song? Man, we gotta watch that one. Oh, I didn't watch much of Futurama. Like maybe max dozen episodes. All I know is that no, I'm not even gonna talk about it. it certain I wasn't, I wasn't allowed. there's certain episodes that trigger me so deeply with Futurama that I can't even. Just thinking about the series makes me think about those awful nightmare fuel episodes. <laughs> that hit me directly in the heart and like shattered my feels permanently. <laughs> they did some things to me that they can't undo permanently in my brain. That damn freaking show. <sighs> anyone knows anyone, any, anyone, anyone who knows that show knows all the things I speak of through some moments of emotional entanglement. casserole we need to shut down what was i gonna i was no i just did my dumb press i just no i wanted to do a preston it's your birthday song it's in the wrong key which probably drives too mad crazy <laughs> <sighs> right but he could be happy for you on your day of days but you have many more well Wait, what's my birthday? Uh, it's not till April. Is it in April? Yeah. Um, yours. So you're an old fogey compared to me. You're ahead of me by. Damn dog, you're the oldest one at Min Potion then. Unless no, well, there's we have people of all ages here up into their sixties pretty much. So. <laughs> yeah, my dad's in his late seventies. So and I mean, sorry, 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 sorry early seventies. But we have Ed here, you know. It's the ultimate great grandpa for a kid growing up right now. Anyway, we gotta cut it short because we gotta go eat tacos, I imagine, for your birthday. So.
tacos for birth for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the great corn tortilla. <laughs> I make tacos for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was weird and out of nowhere. I'm going to leave. We got to leave it right there. Yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it. At, let's leave it at that. Um, Folks, tune in for more mayhem. We're going to actually make some recordings and actually change this music instead of just jamming over it. Today was us feeling it out, me getting back into streaming after being a nervous wreck for the past, like, six months, and then, additionally, getting a feel for these songs so that we can transform them into things of bounty and plenty. Yeah. There's not much to do with this episode, this first one, so we may move on to one another one and just do a couple of cues on here and do some, you know, the saxophone replacement, maybe do some guitar parts and things. You know, just flesh it out a little bit. This is a DX version and not a remix. We're not arranging the entire thing. I'm not changing that much. I'm glossing over things to make it just that. Mm. You know, that's all. How do you... There's no emoji for that, is there? I guess I could do a kiss and a hand going like that. No, because that's a... That's a... That's some kind of... Vulgar sign in something. Yeah. Maybe open, but with like the splash emoji. And then a kiss. That's weird. There was should there should be a kiss mm, emoji. That, how do you? Mm. Anyway, I gotta make I gotta make the music just. Mm, and that's what I'm gonna do on these streams. And this first one was sort of like a feeling it out and sort of getting on with the before the before the series picks up steam and the audience starts building up. We got our homies in here and some new ones as well that are just like, whoa, cool. What the heck is this? This is awesome. And I'm like, yeah, come on, stick around. Please come by next time. And we're going to do this uh, on a several day basis. We're going to do a lot of OKKO production work because it's starting to get spicy. There's starting to be some cool stuff in the series. I mean, there's cool stuff in the beginning part of it. But like, I mean, music wise, it's starting to pick up steam in terms of production value. So. Let's get some lightning nachos at the Mexican place. Let's get like spiciest potential. No, let's get fire nachos. We're gonna get OKKO OK fire nachos. These is this is there's no I'm, this is non canonical and that's not a spoiler. FYI, I don't know if there's fire nachos, but as a fan of the show, I dearly hope so. All right, let's go before my brain explodes. I love you, Mwah, my friends. Thank you for sticking around for a bit, and we will uh, be back with more Mint Potion Power Block ASAP. Peace.